Hello, my name is Nigel Lockyer. I'm the director of Triumph. Welcome to Triumph. Triumph began 40 years ago. This is the original building in Triumph. And what you're looking at are shielding blocks surrounding the cyclotron, the main accelerator of Triumph, that's 60 feet underneath the ground. Coming along this way, you're seeing shielding blocks cover the beam line, impinging on a target over here, which is making medical isotopes for MDS Nordian and being distributed around the world. One of the outcomes of our research here at Triumph after we built the large cyclotron was to recognize that you could build smaller cyclotrons to generate medical isotopes. This particular cyclotron is Triumph designed and is used to generate the medical isotopes for the Pacific Parkinson's program at the UBC and the BC Cancer Agency downtown. We actually have a line which is underneath the ground which travels two kilometers roughly to the UBC hospital. So there's a plastic vessel about this long and about this diameter where once we've run the cyclotron and made the isotopes, we insert them in it. We call it a rabbit. It's a pneumatic line that takes about two minutes to send this into the hospital. That's what we do today. In the future, we're thinking about a couple of interesting things. One is you can see the size of the cyclotron. It's uh, a few meters in diameter. We are talking about making one about this big. Our vision is that every hospital in the world would end up having a small cyclotron. We call it an espresso maker. And the nurse would simply push a button. And whether it's a cappuccino or a latte, in this case, do you want FDG? Do you want some other isotope? And you would select a cartridge, make the isotope of your choice, and it would be a single patient dose. Beyond that, we see uh, a major part of the program is the radiochemistry that's associated with attaching a molecule to that isotope. You can design it in such a way that it goes to a specific part of your body. If you do that, you're able to understand the workings of whether it's a tumor that's growing or whether it's your brain, whether you're thinking, all the aspects of cardiology, oncology, neurology are subject to being studied by nuclear medicine.